Nee, tegen M4, guys. Ik heb er eentje gekild. Oh, maar er waren er twee, dus dan is er nog maar I think it's working now. Welcome everyone um, to this uh, live stream of the solo play of Our Cry the Car Game. Uh, we were supposed to play this with uh, three or four people, but Belgium went into a semi-lockdown again, so we decided to make it a solo version. Um, I must admit this is the very first time that I'm going to play this, so expect mistakes. Uh, Stefan is going to the designer, Stefan Ristos, has promised me to join us, so I hope he will uh, correct my mistakes if necessary. Also, I'm not very used to streaming and I'm completely on my own here. Um, and at the moment I'm trying to find the chat window. Amanda, if you hear me, uh, please tell me on my phone uh, where I can find the chat window in, in OBS or on Twitch TV itself. I don't know where to find it. Anyway, in the meantime, I will try to, uh, I will briefly explain the game. Um, for the people who are familiar with uh, Arkwright, the board game, uh, the card game is lighter than the than the board game. Um, it's more streamlined, if you wish, um, but it still takes about one and a half to two hours for uh, for a, uh, a full game with uh, three or four players. Um, I'm very curious myself how long the solo version will take. I've prepared the setup for you. What you see here is uh, two player boards of uh, my opponents, uh, orange and purple. I also have to say this is a prototype. Uh, you see that this is just the top, uh, <laughs> the top piece of a double, uh, a double layered player board normally. Uh, only using the top piece here. Anyway, this is a prototype, so it has mistakes even. Uh, some things need to be switched and and so on. So bear with me. We're going to. Kickstart this, and we have time enough to develop um, the game further after the Kickstarter until it is completely finished. Um, so what you see here is the, the two player boards of uh, my opponents, orange and purple. This is my own player board, actually with uh, with green. And this is the these are the appeal and the mount tracks. 
These are development cards. Um, and here I'm going to build my factories. I've prepared the setup, so I'm starting with two factories. My opponents are also starting with two factories. Uh, Orange is starting with uh, uh, a food factory and a clothes factory. But the only thing I need for my opponents is a cube here on the uh, appeal track and a value marker for the, the shares and the number of shares of uh, Orange. The same for purple. Purple has cutlery and uh, lamps. Um, and I have a factory of clothes. This matches um, this factory. And I have chosen for lamps, which is this factory. Okay, the aim of the game is to have as many shares at the end of the game as possible with the highest value. So you multiply the number of shares you have with their value and then the person with the highest score wins the game. It's as simple as that. Um, and to achieve that, we're going to play uh, in three decades. You see that here. And each decade has four phases. In each phase, we will produce breads and clothes and cutlery and lamps. So that's a total of, uh, of 12 phases in the whole game. And then the game ends. I was still, I'm still hoping to find a chat window somewhere so I can see the comments. Okay. So I started Twitch TV now. Um, I'm in the chat room of Twitch. So if you have any comments, I see 11 people watching. If you have any comments, just type it in the chat window of Twitch and I will regularly look at that and I can answer you. Or if Stefan is here, then he can answer me. He can answer you as well, I mean. Okay, let's start this game. Um, so, what you do in a turn? Where is my player image? There is my player image. So I have got this this um, this handy player eight. So I can choose out of uh, five different actions. And then after each, at the end of each phase, we're going to do a, uh, a production. But first of all, I do one of the actions. And let's say, I'm always the start player, by the way, um, in the solo version. And let's say at my first action, um, I'm just going to take distribution, which is something in my card that I can add to one of my factories. I can have distribution uh, up to four per factory. And in the three-player setup, the first player in the, in the standard setup starts with uh, the ability to have to add three distributions um, at once. So I'm immediately going to take advantage of that ability. Uh, let's do that for, for clothes, because that's the first thing we're going to produce. So that's my turn. Now it's my opponent's turn. Actually, I'm going to pick um, a cube here from this bag. There are cubes uh, are in orange and purple and blue. I'm going to take a cube. Um, I'm taking an orange cube, and orange is actually here on this track, 
on the appeal track. That means that we're going to move orange two steps up, uh, which increases their appeal to six. That also makes the demand higher um, because it crosses two arrow, two red arrows here. That also means that the uh, the demand marker goes up two steps. So one for each arrow that this orange cube passes. We'll see later what effect this has on the, in the production phase. Um, now, I took an orange cube. That means that purple also gets something, because you do something actually. I think that's very, very nice in the solo version. You pick only one cube. You do one action for the cube that you picked, for the color that you picked. But also the other color gets an advantage. In this case, uh, purple just gets one extra share value, I believe it is. Let's see if we can change that. Just one extra share. So purple now has 13 shares of a value of 12. I start with uh, 10 shares with a value of uh, 10, by the way, but my opponent should start with uh, 12 shares with a value of 12. Um, I put this at the side for a moment. And that is the production phase. Uh, Stefan, if I do something wrong, please correct me. But I think that this is already the first phase. So now we're going to produce. Um, and in the production phase, orange is actually going to uh, produce and has the highest appeal, which means that orange gets um, one share value because they produced at least two goods. Um, and an extra share value because orange has the highest appeal, which is normal because orange is the only one on the track here. And then that's it. That's really the end of the phase. Okay. Um, then we go to the second phase. Uh, clothing, and I'm in clothing as well, so I'm going to produce clothing as well. But first, I get an action. By the way, I forgot to take an extra uh, development at the end of my turn. I just remember that. Uh, let's take a spot quality, so I can now do another action that is rather easy to do. So I took extra quality at the end of my previous turn, which I forgot. And now in my new turn, I'm going to take a quality card and add two quality to my clothing factory. And I put these cards all at the right side of my factory. Okay, and then I can take another development or improvement. So I can choose between an improvement on my player board move one of these cubes, or I can choose out of one of those development cards, um, which are also very powerful. And I think I'm going to do that now. Um, let's take this one, I like that one. So this one means This one means whenever um, I'm in an equal position on the appeal track as my opponent, I win the extra share value. So that's very interesting to me. Okay, then it's my opponent's turn. So I'm picking a cube again. This time it's purple. And purple is not on the track here, 
which means that Purple is going to build a factory. And if I understand the rules that Stefan uh, wrote correctly, then we now add a Purple cube on this track, uh, namely on the uh, sweep. And then Purple moves up on one step because we are in, the, in decade one. And because we cross one red arrow, the demand goes up one as well. And because we're building a new factory, the worker goes up as well. Uh, the worker, I didn't explain that yet, so that's this track. Um, the workers work in the factory, of course, and they will need wages uh, whenever we produce. So at the start of the game, they, they, they cost three coins uh, per worker, uh, but later in the game, they will probably cost four or even five. So because we build a new factory, this one goes up because we have extra workers, more demand, and so on. Okay. I'm quickly going to turn up the volume of the microphone a little bit because I'm getting a message that I'm not allowed to do. I hope that helps. Okay, I see that Stefan is doing a nice job explaining or answering questions. I will just continue. Um, where was I? Um, where was I? Where was I? I've just added the factory for uh, for purple. I think we've done everything now for purple. Nope. Uh, I didn't pick orange, so orange gets one extra share. Oh no, orange is on that track, so he doesn't get any share. Every opponent that does not match its color with the marker drawn from the top gets one share. Oh no, every opponent. So orange gets one share. And then we're going to the production phase. Um, now during my turn, I should have done something that I forgot again. Um, namely, I need to decide what the cost is of my... Um... I didn't know that purple was going to build a factory. Um, and I do have this bar to have uh, that gives me a victory when I have equal a deal value. So I'm going to see what for a deal would do for me. Now I have three cards here. I cannot rotate distribution because that would change the value of distribution. But I can rotate my um, uh, my office card, and I can rotate. Uh, this quality card uh, to choose between more appeal or more income for each of my goods. Um, and I think I need a maximum of income. And I will put this at one and this is three, so appeal at four. So I cheated a little bit because I didn't know that Purple was going to build a new factory. Um, on the other hand, if you know the rules well, you do know that uh, Purple would 
end up at 4. On the other hand, if I had drawn orange, 4 would have been at 6. So I've cheated. Anyway, I think this is a good deal for me now. So I'm keeping it at 4. Um, so production phase. Now, how many goods do I produce? You produce the number of goods that is indicated on your factory. So in this case, I produce three clothes. Each of my clothes, clothes have a value of um, 4 plus 4 plus 2, so a value of 10, uh, 10 uh, coins. If I can sell them all to the home market, and I can because this is at 4, and the demand uh, token, which I've got to move by the way for my own movement, I think. Uh, yes, I crossed two, so this needs to go up two as well. Forgetting a lot of things here. But it's still at, at one, uh, and I'm at four, so I can sell three goods to the home market. Um, and I'm producing three goods, so that's very convenient. Um, and they all are worth 10, so I gain 30 money. So I go to 80. But then I need to calculate the costs. Um, the costs are uh, a fixed price for each factory. For this closed factory, it costs me 9. Plus 3 for each worker. So that's a total of 12. And 1 coin for each machine. So that's another one. Another 1 coin. So that's 12 plus 1 is uh, 13, plus 9 is 22. So I lose 22 money again, so I end up at 58. So that means that I made my first profits of 8 uh, coins. Which is quite good for a new factory. So it's, it's not unusual in this game to, uh, to lose money when you start a new factory. Okay, now we are all tied for uh, for a peel. Now everyone that sells goods, at least two goods to the home market, gets one share value. So we all do. So orange gets one share value. Purple gets one share value, and I get one share value. Finally, um, and we're all tied for uh, most appeal. So normally, no one would get an extra share value. But because I have this uh, uh, development card, I believe it's called the Entrepreneur, uh, I get one extra share value and I win that fight. And that's it for the second phase. So we go to the third phase, which is cutlery. Um, I think I will now start to prepare my lamp factory because in the next phase we're going to produce lamps. On the other hand, I also want extra factories because if those orange guys and those purple guys don't have any competition uh, for their factories, they will win a lot. So. But I think I'll do that in the second decade. So for now, I'm going to try to prepare my land factory. So I'll do the same as I've done with my clothes factory, namely add quality. I'm going to add two quality. Oh, by the way, when we produce clothes, I need it distribution. To be lowered by one. That's something you need to do when, um, yeah, distribution is just some, some kind of marketing. But this game plays in the end of the 18th uh, century, uh, and marketing is a more modern 
term. Um, so we don't use that, we, we say distribution. Uh, but yeah, distribution is, is rather temporary. So when you produce that good and it has distribution in the line of cards, then you need to reduce that by one. But now we're going to add quality to my factory of labs. Um, it seems like this gains me extra uh, appeal on the appeal pack, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to adjust this and adjust my marker uh, when the time's there, because I can do several things and you don't need to change everything every time. You can just add a card and worry about the appeal pack later. That's no problem. Okay, I'm going to take an extra development. Um, let's no. I'm going to take a new development card. I can take up to two, unless I move this cube forward, and I can take up to three development cards. But now I can take up to two development cards. I'm going to take this one. And this one is the worker card that gives me a discount of two for each worker in one factory. So I'm going to add that to one factory, namely my LAN factory. Noting the detail of this lamp matching the lamp of my, of my factory. If that is on the screen even. Yeah, maybe I should move it a little bit. Okay, so now my worker is done in this factory, plus two coins less per worker for up to four workers. So that is my action. Um, then I can end my development. That I took. So now I'm going to take a new cube from the back and it's orange. Orange does not have a factory yet here, so because I took orange, orange is going to have a factory there and because this is purpley, uh, we'll start at two. And because it's decade one, this orange cube moves up one step doesn't pass an, uh, an arrow. I'm not sure if we start at 2, this also means that the demand has to go up one step. I'm not sure about that, Stefan. Okay, but we do have a new factory, so the cost of the workers goes up one step. Uh, um, and that's it. So now we produce cutlery. At least I'm not going to produce cutlery, but my opponents are. Um, and they are tied, which is a good thing for me. Because that means that no one wins that tie and no one gets an extra share of value. But they do sell two uh, goods to the home market because they are at three and the demand marker is at one. So that's the difference of uh, two. But it means that they both get an extra share of value. And because I took an orange cube and not a purple one, I just remember that purple gets one extra share as well. So they are going hard. I'm still at a, a value of 12 and only 10 shares and they are already at 14, 14 and 13, 16. So they're going uh, strong. Anyway, we're moving to the next phase. Lamps. Um, I'm doing my action again. And Again, I'm going to uh, enforce my factory a little bit, this time with uh, distribution. 
for now. Do, let's do another following card. I can do that. Um, so I already have two quality. I can add two. I can have up to four uh, for each factory. So I just replace this card with two quality by this card with four quality. That's how it works. And this card goes back into my pile. So you may have noticed that I do have a number of cards that I can get out of it. These are hand cards, uh, if you wish. Um, and I can just use them. This is a storage card, for instance, for if I have leftover goods. Um, this, these are quality cards, distribution cards. And this was my deep development card. Um, okay, so now, because we are lamps and I have a lamp factory, I need to decide about what appeal I'm going to choose and what income. Now, if I pick a purple cube right away, then purple will go up two steps, it will go up to five, which is a lot. That is really a lot. I'm only producing two lamps, so it doesn't make much sense to go to five. I can't take the risk. Hmm. Well, if I go to three, then this one will go up anyway, so I will only be able to sell one good to the home market. So I think it's better to go to four. Could be enough if I don't pick a purple cube. No, let's just make sure that I win that and go to five. So this one goes up one again. So I adjust everything here up to five. Uh, five appeal. So for each card, I can choose between appeal or income for my goods. Choose four appeal here, four coins here, one appeal here, which, which gives me a total of five appeal and a total of ten income for each land. Um, and I can take another development or an improvement, and I'm going to take this one. This one will allow me to buy shares at a lower value. I should have tapped the tiebreaker, yeah, absolutely right. Um, which also means that I cannot win it again, of course. So maybe I should even go up to six. Yeah, I want to win. I'm going up to six here on this one and three here. Also, um, so I'm moving this one to two, which gives me a total of six. So this will lower my income or my revenue for each good that I sell to the home market. Um, until now, I've only been selling to the home market, by the way. Um, you will see later in the game that you're able to or that you're allowed to ship goods as well if you're not selling to the home market, but I will keep that for the later in the game. Um, okay, now I'm going to pick another cube. And it's purple. Which means that purple will increase their appeal value with two steps. This one goes up two steps. And that makes it very a very wise decision of myself, if I may say so, uh, to choose an appeal of six. But now, because now I'm still selling my two lamps to the home market, and I have the highest appeal. Um, I didn't pick an orange cube, which means that orange gets another share. And 
And now we're going to sell goods. I'm producing two lamps. This is indicated on my factory, on my worker card. Um, and each lamp has a value of 9, so I gain 18. And there is 70 percent. Um, and yeah, then I have to calculate the costs. Um, I do have a reduction on the cost of a discount uh, on the cost of my uh, workers. I have five workers in total, but four will cost me only two per worker, which is a reduction total of eight, plus one worker for two. Uh, so it's four workers cost me only one to get a, uh, a discount of two, but it's only one per worker, so that's four in total, plus one worker for three is uh, seven, plus one machine is eight, plus uh, the fixed cost of 11 is a total of 19. So this time I actually lose money by producing. So I actually lost one, one point. Um, but I do have the highest appeal, which means I gain two share value. Um, now, Purple was not able to sell two goods to the home market. But the rules say, if I understand correctly, um, that in that case, we assume that they shipped a lot of goods, which, mean, which means that they would gain income. And with this income, they would buy shares. So instead of gaining a share value, Purple now gains one share. So either way, they always go strong. And that means we're at the end of the decade. And we go to a new decade, decade two. And at the end of decade one, we need to uh, put these cubes back into the bag. So we have the same cubes again. By the way, we didn't take blue. Uh, blue is the fourth color. But there are two cubes, two blue cubes in this bag. And if I would take blue, then this marker would move on the development card, and that development card would be removed from the game. Um, a minute ago, I also realized that I started with uh, 50 points, and then I forgot in the beginning of the game that I was allowed to buy shares at the value of 10. Um, as much as I wanted. So usually I start with three shares, maybe even four. Um, but for this solo version, I would say I just decided not to take any shares at the beginning of the game. Okay. Um, so we're at bread again, and it's my turn, because in this game, in the solo version, I'm always the card player. Now, like I said before, it's not a good idea to have, to allow your opponents um, to have no competition in certain factories. Um, I mean, I've played the three-player version, the four-player version, several times um, and usually if someone has a monopoly in one on one of the tracks uh, or in one of the factories then yeah chances are bigger that person will win so i think this this will be the same in uh, in the solo version 
or at least I, that's my feeling. Um, so I will add factories as my action, as one of the allowed actions. And I can immediately add two factories if I want to. And in this case, I want that. So I'm going to add a breath factory. And cutlery. I'm going to have to move some stuff here. Now, in the beginning of the game, when you start with a factory, you start with a worker card next to that factory and an office. But when you build a factory later in the game, it does start at deck two. The because we are in deck eight two, so that's the the back side of deck eight one. Um, but I don't start with any worker cards. I do start with an office next to that those uh, factories. Here is the office. One and I place this at one and at one just for now, which does not make the demand marker move because I'm building factories. Um, well, that's not 100% clear for me in the global version yet. Maybe this needs some development still. Um, like we said from the beginning of, uh, of the game. This solar version is still in uh, in development. Uh, it will be a stretch goal at the Kickstarter, so this is not entirely finished yet. We are still playtesting this, so you you are watching a playtest. Um, and one of the thing that is things that is still unclear to me is when an opponent, uh, normally in a three player game, so for instance, when an opponent will build a factory then all demand work mark uh, markers would go down one step. And I'm not sure if we should do that in the, in the solo version as well. Um, I'm doing it now because I'm building a factory. And I think I need to do that because that's what's in the regular rules. Um, because I'm not adding any yeah, I'm also adding adding workers, which means that the demand increases, but also means that the wages go up. Okay. I may read that this one. Yeah. Okay, so I added factories, and that's my turn. Um, well, not completely. I can also take an improvement, and I will move this one here. So maybe in one of my later turns, I will start buying shares, but that, because now I can buy two shares for the cost of only one share, which is quite interesting. Um, okay. I do have a bread factory now, so that also means that I need to decide I need to decide about the price and the demand. Now I'm also only producing two bread. It is interesting to sell at least two bread to the home market. So let's see what can happen. Orange, if I pick an orange cube, orange will go up two steps again, which will move the demand market two steps. That's the worst thing that can happen, so I think this one will go to one probably because I'm going to move as well. Um, if I want to sell two bread to the home market, I need to move it to three. 
which makes this one move, which makes this demand marker move more effective. And let's do move this to three, and that's it. So I already know that I will not win uh, the highest appeal here, but for now that's not important. I will win that later on in the game, I hope. Um, okay. Then I'm picking another cube. Purple. So that means that purple will also gain a factory here, a grass factory, um, which will start at 3. And because we are in decade 2, throws up 2 extra steps. Which means that I cross 2 red arrows and this drawing throws up 2 steps to the mob marker. And then we are selling bread. Stop them producing bread. I'm producing two, and I will both sell them to the home market. By the way, if you can sell to the home market, you have to sell to the home market. You cannot ship goods. We haven't shipped any goods uh, until now in the game. We will do that later. Um, but like I said, I produce two goods, and I can sell both to the home market. So I will do that. Um, this gives me... 2 plus 4 is 6, multiplied by 2 is 12. So that brings me to 70 points, but my cost will probably be higher because it's a new factory. A starting company always costs more, or usually costs more than, than its revenue in the beginning. Um, my workers cost 6, I don't have any machinery, but my fixed cost is 9. So I go back, I go down to 15 again. So again, I lose money with in the production fees, which doesn't sound that good, but we will make up for that later in the game. Um, orange has highest appeal here. Oh, by the way, I took a purple cube, so orange also gets one extra share. Um, they both get one extra share value because they produced at least one, uh, at, at least two goods in the, to the home market. Uh, orange wins the highest appeal, so gets one extra share value. They are going to be very tough to beat. And I sold two goods to the home market, so I also get one extra share value. I think it's time for me to buy shares because they, they're getting more and more expensive for me now. Anyway, let's go to the next phase of the second decade. Um, what action shall I choose now? I think I need more workers. But that's a big investment, more workers. But yeah, let's do that. Um, I will add workers to my cutlery factory. And I can, I can actually add as many worker parts as I want to, all at the same time. Um, and I will do that. But my second worker part needs to start in decade one, because it goes from one to three and we are only in two. So my first worker part can start in decade two. And I put it in underneath my cutlery factory. Um, but I will add 
more workers actually I will just add all the workers that I can to all of my factories. Maybe I should move that one here. Is that something that Um, I move everything a little bit upwards so that you can all see my factory. They are becoming bigger and bigger. Which takes quite an investment. But I still have a lot of money because I forgot to buy shares at the beginning of the game. So I'm quite confident that I can pay all those workers. And I hope they will bring me a profit later in the game. Um, I can add a worker charge here, which is and here. You always have to watch carefully if you play the right side. Because each of those cards, of those worker cards, has four options. Uh, you have decade one and decade two on one side and the other side. But also you have one side with uh, uh, two workers, and when you rotate it, it's one worker and one machinery. But you need the machinery action first to do that. And I didn't do that yet. Okay, um, so I added all the worker cards, that's my action. Um, and now I'm going as a development or an improvement, I'm going to move this cube, which means that if I'm going to do, if I'm going to ship any goods, then I can ship three goods uh, on each ship. We are at 30, that means that I have to decide about my, about my appeal. Um, I know that orange and blue are probably going to 6, one of them, unless I pick a blue cube. Um, that means that it's probably good to go to 6 as well. I'm confusing my Four floats. If I go to six, then the demand market goes up two, and I can sell four to the home market, which seems like a good play. And this will bring me the highest appeal. So let's do that. Um, If that is my opponent's turn, I will pick a cube. And it's a purple cube again. Which means that purple goes up two steps. It has an appeal of six as well. The mount marker goes up two steps. Uh, I didn't pick orange, so orange gets one share. And then we're going to produce goods. I'm producing four, like I said, and the difference between six and two on this track is also four, so I will sell all my clothes to the home market at a value of, oh, by the way, I forgot to move this marker. I should go do that. It should be at six. So I will need to 
doing this one to achieve that. So that's two plus two plus two is six, which means that I can sell each clothes, each clothing for three plus four is seven, multiplied by four is 28, my revenue. Um, so that brings me to 75 plus 80 is 82. Um, and then my costs. Workers still cost three, but I have two, four, six workers. So that's already 18. Plus one machine is 19. Plus a fixed cost of nine is 28. So I go back to 55. So I didn't lose any money. Which, with so many workers, that's already quite an achievement. Um, and I have distribution here, which gets reduced by one. Because that always, always happens whenever you reduce an effective. Um, okay, I win highest appeal if I uh, tap this card. Um, and then I get two chair value, while purple and orange, which will sell at least two goods, will get one chair value. Yeah, so we will have smaller money tokens on the money track. That's for sure. You notice that they are too big. This is one of 15 millimeters. We will make one. Uh, we will add uh, money tokens of 12 millimeters. And I think the box is a little bit, yeah, it's, doesn't have that awkward dimensions, um, but I think it's the camera that makes it look a little bit smaller. Yeah, it must be the camera. Um, actually, all the whole setup seems to be a rather condensed. It isn't in uh, in OBS, but it, it seems to be on Twitch. Don't know why. Anyway, this box is actually too small. Um, when we made a prototype, it's very yeah. We we hardly can close close the lid of this box, so the box will be a little bit bigger than this one. Okay, where was I? Um, we just did production of clothes. I think we completed the whole phase, so let's go to February. Still in the second decade. Um, okay, I think it's time to upgrade my factories now, although it's also time to buy shares because they're getting more and more expensive. This is an odd situation, not used to that. Uh, usually I have more shares at this stage. Um, but yeah, it's the first one already, so we're learning. Anyway, it seems time to upgrade my factories, which means that I will rotate or flip them all to decade two. Not this worker current because it would flip to decade three, but not that.
from a new factory's world where you can back here too, so hmm. Actually it's always been useful for my lamp really, but anyway. I have upgraded. Um and then I can take another two development. Um and let's do it this one so I can add some no sheets. Um, and then it's my opponent's turn. Oh no, I have to choose a few first. We are a cavalry. Um, we have many choice there. I can go up to seven if I want. Or let's not play them. They can go up to five. Well, what happens if I go to five? Then I've got. Arrows, which means this one goes up. So the mount marker goes up to two. So I can throw three bits to the whole marker. So I'm producing five. Well, maybe it's time to use my ships for the first time. Hmm. And also, if I choose a higher fuel here, I won't have much revenue from my um, from any goods that I sell to the home market be because I don't have any quality or distribution added here. So it seems a good idea to ship this here. And I can ship up to three goods on each ship. Um, I do want to sell at least two goods to the home market because that, that will give me one share value. But at five, I'm probably not going to win the highest appeal anyway because I'm not going to win any fights. So it's probably best to go only to four. Because then I will probably sell two to the home market and I can ship three. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So a few for that means I need to rotate this one. That's four. I put this one to zero, which means that each ship will give me nine points. Okay. Then I pick one cube again for my opponents. I hope it's blue uh, four. And it's blue. First time I put blue. Um, now, this one moves steps equal to the amount of appeal markers on this track. So three steps. One, two, three. And then this development card disappears from the game. Um, I probably should have started next to this track, I'm not sure. Something to specify in the rules, I guess. Um, doesn't really matter. One development card disappears now, and that's important. Um, okay, orange and purple get one share because I didn't pick one of their cubes. But they won't get a higher appeal, which is very convenient for me. Because that means that I will, will, will win the highest appeal, which I didn't count on. So that's very good. Um, anyway, we're producing cavalry now. I'm selling two to the home market, and I'm producing five. I'm selling two to the home market uh, at nine each, so I gain. 18, so that's 65 and 8 is 73, and then I'm going to shift goods for the first time. I can't shift three goods at once on one ship, that means I'm going to use this card, and I'm going to flip it from two ships to, uh, to one ship. So 
by one chip left. And I sell three February for 13 each, which gives me 39. Wow. Sounds like a good deal. One, two, three. Okay, so that's one of my headers. And 12, 112 points now. Suddenly, I seem rich. But then I still need to calculate the costs. So one, two, three, four, five, six workers. Oh, when I know that the charge is not so right. Just giving me like this doesn't show me too much. And the cost will be higher. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven workers multiplied by three is 21. The machines 22, 23, and the fixed cost of 13 is 36. So I thought I was gaining a lot of money, but my costs are higher as well. So that's six, seven, one, two, three. Back at 76. So I didn't make that much of a profit. Um, but it was fun to see to see that market go above 100. 100. Anyway, I get two share value because I win the highest appeal. Um, they both sell two products to the home market, so they get one share value. And that's it. We're going to lamps. <laughs> it is difficult. Um, okay, I think it's time for me to buy some shares because that will also gain me my ships back. Maybe I won't need them later in the game. Um, I will just buy two shares. I will buy two shares for 19 divided by 2. I'm not sure if it's rounded up or rounded down. Uh, let's say it's rounded up, so I need to pay 10. Uh, why not buy more shares? Because ev uh, every share that I buy above the number of 2 would cost me a share value. And I can also do that at the end of the game. Although, it will have a higher price than I guess. Mm, maybe I should buy it, let's see. Yeah, I've never done this before because usually you do that in the beginning of the game at a value of 10. Um, well, let me buy one at least. 19, 19, six. That leaves me with 47 points. I'm not going to win this game, that's for sure. But it's fun to try. Um, okay, that was my turn. I can take one other development. Let's take this one so I can, oh no, let's take this one. So if I take machinery as an action, my next turn, then I can upgrade four workers to machines, and that will make a big difference in the cost of my factory. Um, so that's my improvement that I've paid or my development. Um, then I need to decide what appeal that I'm going to choose. It is at six. I'm going to produce four lamps. Four lamps. If it is at six, I can maybe sell three or two. Oh, I do have my two chips back because I bought shares. I can do that as well. Um, hmm. 
So let's move this one to eight. I work at six. This one brings up to two. That keeps eight. So I can probably sell in the street. Let's go even to nine. Not sure that's wise, so I never go higher than five, so it makes me sure that I can sell four lands to the whole market. I mean, because I don't think that I want to ship them in the place. But if I do some lines, it will cost me a lot of pounds. Mm. Yeah, I think I don't need to ship them. Six. Yeah. Let's just take a guess. Um, if I'm not taking orange, then I think I will win the highest of here. Uh, because orange will start at two and I don't think that orange. <coughs> yep. Can move up two, so we have a higher than four. Yeah. Looks like a plan. The only thing I need to do is not take a purple cube. Because that purple will give me the highest appeal. Um, yeah, I need to adjust my colors. So there are six objects correct. So now I'm picking the cube. Sorry for the delay, I needed to think a little bit. And it's orange, which is good actually, because that means that orange is getting a factory here as well. Uh, it starts at two, but because we only get to two, it goes up two steps, which means that the mark marker goes up one step. Um, the workers will cost one more. Well, actually, there are still at three, but the worker marker moves up one step. Okay, now I didn't take uh, purple, so purple gains one share. And then we are going to sell lands. I'm producing four lands. I'm buying two to the home market because my appeal is at six and the marker is at four. Um, two to the home market for a value of 13, so that's 26. Two more expensive lands. Um, that means that I have two left. Now I can choose to ship them. But I can also choose to put them in my storage. Because shipping them would cost me one ship. Oh, by the way, I used one ship before, so that means I needed to take a ship marker and put it on my player board. I forgot that earlier. Um, and that's also why you don't want to use that many ships. Shipping can seem profitable, but if you use too many, it will increase your share value. This is wrong on this prototype. It should be share of value that increases and not the number of shares. Um, of course, that will be correct in the final version. And that's also the reason why I'm not going to ship my goods yet. I can ship them later. And maybe then that's four goods for one ship, if I take it completely. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put them in my storage house. 
That means I'm not going to gain any profit from them yet. But I have two good deer in my coverage. Um, and then I need to pay the cost. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight workers multiplied by three. Uh, that's 24. Uh, let's see that already. One, two, yep. And one machine and a fixed cost of 15 because I'm, I updated that factory. It has become more expensive. So another 16. Slightly not sure where I started, but I think that I lost money again. But on the other hand, I still have two goods in my storehouse, and then I will ship later, later on in the game. Okay, and also important, I do win high 15, so I get two shares on me, which is good. I'm already at 21. Um, now, purple and orange didn't sell at least two goods to the home market, which means that they don't get share value, but they do get an extra share because we assume that they ship their goods and that they will be able to buy a share instead. And then we are at the end of the second decade and we're going to the final decade. Voila. That means that I can flip this card again. Untap it, I mean. Um, yeah. Let's see if someone has any comments. Okay. I think we're all good. Um, my bread factory still looks a little bit weak. But anyway, oh, and it's uh, the screen seems to be frozen. Oh no, it isn't. <laughs> it's uh. It's after that delay. Uh, yeah, anyway, I will continue. Uh, so, like I said, my drag factory seems weak. Uh, on the other hand, it's the last time that we're going to produce, so it doesn't make much sense to, to, to make it much bigger. But it does make sense to add some machinery, which is one of the actions. Um, I have a purple arrow. Or I can do an upgrade to have much more production. Yeah, let's do that first. I will upgrade all my working cars to decade three. And then I will do machinery. In my next game, probably. Voila. So I can upgrade all my worker cards all at once, and they're all at the highest possible level now. So that means that this is really the highest production that I can have. And I don't think I've ever done this in a three or four player game. Um, having the total production that you can have in this game. So that's why it's exciting. Um, again, I don't think I'm going to win this first solo version ever, but let's see. Uh, I did an upgrade. I can still take an improvement. And like I said before, it seems interesting to choose for more shipping. Uh, so I don't have to have that high appeal all of the time. Um, so that is that. And then I need to choose my 
feel how you're here. Um, I'm not going to win against orange or purple here, so let's just take a minimum of a few. Um, they can go up two step, which which means that the demand will never be higher as a, than one. Yeah. Um, I'm hesitating a little bit because I was wondering if I need to move the remote markers because that is an upgrade that I can factory with Charles and Charles with an upgrade. Um, no, I think it's correct like this. No machines anywhere, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I will do that next turn. Um, so if I do only upgrade the, uh, the worker cars, Stefan, do I need to move the demand markers or the wages marker? Um, I don't think so, but I'm not 100% sure. If you can answer that, that would be great. Um, anyway, I took my development, so I can pick a cube now. It's orange. So orange goes up two steps on this track. Uh, the map marker will go up two steps. Oh, let's do that again because I forgot to add the cubes to the back of it. So at the end of the decade, you need to return the, all the cubes back into the back. And it's not orange, but it's blue. So I'm putting this back. And blue is moving two steps. One, two, three, and this development card is really from the back. And then um, I'm producing two, four, six, eight red. And I sell only two to the home market, which is quite interesting. Um, I sell two to the home market for a value of six, which gives me 12. And that means I have six red left. Ooh. Am I going to use two chips for that? Uh, that's a hard decision to make, but it would be convenient to have machines here in my clothes factory in my next turn. But I will need to buy shares to have chips again if I use those as my chips. Ooh, that's a tough decision. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I can have higher fuel here and try to sell everything to the home market. Yeah. Seven, 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 then we have to get the nine. Two. Yeah, I think I think that's a wise decision. I'm not sure. I will need many ships. So I'm going to use them both because at the end of the game, if you still have stored goods, they do give you some money, but not that much. So I think it's better to use both of my ships. So I'm going to remove this card. Add two ships. Ooh. Oh man, yeah, anyway, I'm going to add two chips to them. Um, and so two to the home market, two red to the home market for 
Okay, so the square can I add that already? I think I'll think about it. Okay, add it back over there. Um I'm going if I didn't please correct me. Could be <laughs> could be good to have more money. Um I have six bread here that I can sell for nine. Six multiplied by nine is forty-five. One, two, three, four, five, and four, which brings me to ninety-nine. Um, and then I have to calculate the price. So one, two, three, four, five, six workers multiplied by three. Eighteen. Um, no machines. And a fixed cost of nine. Uh, okay, twenty-seven. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. The trucks were not that high. But at the end of the game, I will lose an extra share of value because I need to sell my machine. So, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, okay, like that. Um, I could sell two bread to the home market, which means that my share value increases by one. And orange wins the highest appeal, so they get two share value, and purple gets one share value because they also sell sold two goods in the home market. And then we go to the second phase of the final decade, and we will produce clothing. Um, so I was going to pick machines. Now let's see how many times I'm going to do that action. I mean in this turn and a later turn. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine possible upgrades to machines. Um, so it wouldn't be wise to do that twice, probably. But I also have to buy shares to... Um, Oops. I think that keeps my camera. Just check that. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to upgrade to machines. I have three machines here that I can upgrade to. And let's do couple rooms so I can buy shares in my next turn and don't need to worry about it in the roof. Oh, that's too many of course. Uh, there's three here, I can only upgrade one there. Because my improvement level here allows me to upgrade four workers to machinery. Yeah, upgrading is maybe the wrong term. <laughs> I'm just firing four workers in time for machines, which was quite common in the industrial revolution, I guess. Um, okay, I can take one more improvement now after my action. Um, let's take this one so I can keep another development car that I want to see a little different. And then my appeal, the yellow of clothing. Um, I can still use this one for a highest appeal, which seems interesting here. I'm selling one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven blows, reducing seven. Hmm. That means I can only, I probably wouldn't go to ten, which seems a lot. Oh, but I don't have any ships. So, yeah, I have to do that. The Captain Hyde for here. Um, that's four steps. One, two, three, four. And then I can sell six. Oh, I even need to go to 11. I'm not sure if I can do that, actually. Um, there's still six, so I need to go to 12. If I want to sell seven to the home market. But do I have 12? Two, three, and four, if I turn that card. Five, seven, no, the maximum heal I can have is 10, apparently. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. Well, I cannot ship any goods, so I don't have one left over good, probably at the end of the game. One frozen. Well, whatever. Um, I think this is the best I can do. Although I'm selling my frozen courage just now. Well, it is what it is. Let's take another cube. And it's purple. Which means that purple will move up two steps here on the heal pack, which makes the demand market move up to five. Ooh. And we even have one more frozen now. Well, that's a pity. I didn't pick orange, so orange gets one extra share. And. Let's start frozen. I'm producing seven. But I can sell only five to the home market because my appeal is at ten and the demand market is at five. Um, five multiplied by only four, so we gain you only 20. This really seems like a very bad deal. I think Stefan is laughing at me right now. And I have two leftover goods that I will, uh, yeah, get some money for at the end of the game, but not much. Um, luckily, I have a lot of machinery, which keeps the cost low. Um, I have one, two, three workers, that's cost me nine. And then machines, 10, 11, 12, 13. And the fixed cost of 11 is 24. So I'm actually losing money. One, two, 28. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is really bad. This is really bad. At the end of the game, this is a, is a, a complete factory losing money. I've never seen this before. This is really bad. I suck. <laughs> uh. Anyway, but I win the highest appeal. My clothing has the highest appeal of all, um, which means that I win two share value, while the others only win one share value. And isn't this game about the highest share value in the highest number of shares? It is. Okay, that was it. So we are going to the cutlery phase. I hope I can do a better deal now. Let's buy shares, because I think I will need chips. Um, and I need shares, of course. So I'm buying at least two shares, which brings my total to 15, which is rather bad. I think, yeah, you want at least 20 shares at the end of the game, so I'm not doing very well. Um, 
and they cut me 24 which is what shares more early I guess one two And I get my ships back. That was my action. And I'm producing one, two, three, four, five, six suddenly. I need to sell at least two to the home market. Um, let's look at my lands as well, because I would probably want to ship four lands. I think I can do that. Yep. Um, in theory, I have to move the distribution charge out of the way. Doesn't really matter anymore. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six cavalry. I don't think I want to win the Heights of Steel anymore. It doesn't seem that important anymore. I think it's more important to have more money. Um, so I want to sell two cutlery to the home market, which moves my appeal. Seems to be quite good over there at four. So I will leave it like this. Because if I pick orange or purple, which I hope. Oh, maybe she, oh. And it's that they go to five. Seems a pity that I lose that. But if I go to five, I need to sell three cutlery to the home market. And then I only have three to ship. Hmm. Again, a tough choice. A tough choice. I'm actually hoping to sell only two to the home market. So I can ship four. Although that's only a difference of four or five if I need to heal up one step. Let's take a look at this track already and see if I need the tiebreaker on that track. Yeah, I will probably need to move to seven there. I maybe need, maybe need to tie break over there if I pick purple. Um, so I hope I will get to lose here and win that one. Yeah, that's it. And we will get this. I'll pick orange. So I am losing. Wow. This one goes up to the demand marker goes up two steps. And then um, orange gets one share because I didn't uh, I mean purple because I didn't pick purple. And then we're selling goods. I'm producing six cavalry, of which I'm selling two to the home market. Uh, for nine each, so that's eighteen. So we're coming here to sixty-two, and then I'm shipping four cavalry. That costs me one ship. Four cavalry multiplied by thirteen. Yes, you hear that right, thirteen. So that's 40 and 12 is 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2. Um, oh, I think I made a mistake somewhere. 
one on a real mistake and we need this worker card. I'm not sure if I put it at my penalty or at my last sector because it needs to say that in the entire game. Does someone remember that? Orange didn't sell two goods, you mean a produce. Um, so that means I don't get a share value and get a get a share instead. Okay, and here purple. Um, now I'm confused. I was told purple. So let's see, I started with lamps and clothes, so I put this one into my map section, so it was correct. Um, where was I? I was calculating cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six workers multiplied by three is 18. 19, 20, 21, come on, cheat. And 13 is 21, 31, 34. So I did make some money this time, which is good. Um, orange wins the highest appeal, so they get two share value. I get one share value because I sold one, uh, at least two goods to the whole market. Purple didn't sell two goods to the whole market, so I get one share in this case. And then we go to the final phase, lamps. Um, and I think I'm going to reduce my costs and try to sell three lamps to the home market and ship four. Although I could also buy shares, I don't have many shares yet. Um, if I need to buy them later, it will cost me. Now I can buy two for 25. So that's a difference of 25 for the lamp. While workers cost me three. I do have a worker card, so I don't really need the machinery. So it's a, yeah, definitely it's a better idea to um, to buy shares. So I will buy two shares, 17 for 25. One, two, three, five. Um, Oh my god, now I even forgot that I was above 100 euro. And I think so, I think a lot. So let's see what I have 55. Um, yeah, and I get my chips back. So my action was buying shares. I can take one new development. Um, One extra land for this one. Sounds interesting. But it's a one time use. So if you produce this extra good, can you uh, have your loot card? Okay, I have to 
choose my appeal. I am at six right now. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lamps that I produced and already have in my storehouse. I have this one, which gives me seven lamps. But I wish to sell three to the home market. Um, four, seven, no, three would be eight, sorry. Um, so that means I want to sell eight, four to the home market. And ship four. Uh, that means I need a peel nine at least. One, two, three. That means that I'm also going to win a peel even without my tiebreaker here. That seems the logical thing to do. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, at nine, I need to close my cards. Get this one. Four appeal, eight appeal, nine appeal. So now I'm picking up a cube from the last time. And it's purple. So purple goes up two steps. Um, Demand marking doesn't go up anymore because then maximum of five. And orange gets one share, but it doesn't even pick orange. And this is gravity. And then we're going to sell goods. I forgot the question, to be honest. <laughs> I was I was doubting about many things. Uh, mainly about my, my game strategy. I'm not doing well at all with this game under the impression. Uh, anyway, we're going to sell lamps. Um, I'm producing one, two, three, four, five, six with this card. I already remove it. I already am, I still have two, so that's eight in total. I'm selling four to the home market at a value of ten, so that's forty. One, two, three, four. And I'm shipping four. Add one ship here, which is a bit of a little weak in the C value at the end of the day. Uh, but this gave me 4 times 15, that is uh, 16. That was like a good deal. Well, I might have miscalculated 100 points. I don't know if I'm at 155 or 255 in that right now, to be honest. I've never been above 200, so it's probably 155, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, anyway, costs. Um, workers minus two, so they only cost one full workers, so that's four. And they have four workers at full price, that's 12, so that's 16. One machine is 17 and 15. Six cost is um, 32. So one, two, three, and two is 123. And I sold these two goods. And I even have the peel, so I gain two appeal, uh, two value against uh, my opponents. Purple wins one value because they sold two goods to the home market. Orange didn't sell any goods to the home market but gains one share value. Uh, one share, I mean. Well, I do have the highest share value, so. But I don't think I have enough shares. But we'll see. Because this is the end of the game. 
Yeah. So I will take my calculator for this one, the end score. I did use a lot of ships. I didn't take any loans. We didn't come to that. Usually we don't take any loans, but if you uh, when you, you know, when you buy shares, you can, you can also you can also take loans if you want. Uh, usually we try to prevent that, in my experience. Um, but also if you don't have enough money to pay your costs, you will have to take uh, loans, uh, and also you will try to prevent that as well. So, uh, those ships, like I said, this is a fairly mistaken a prototype. I did three share value at resolution 24. That's for the shipping markets. So, my total is 17 multiplied by 24, which is 408. Doesn't seem that bad, but like I said, I'm not going to win this time, at least. 20 multiplied by 20 is, of course, 400. So I am. I have more. Uh, my score is higher than uh, purple. But orange is 22 multiplied by 24. So that's obviously more than 408. That is 528. So orange wins the game. Congratulations, orange. And I'm second, which is not bad for the first time I played this uh, solo version, I guess. Now, Stefan added this nice list of um, rewards that you can choose. You win the Tycoon title, for instance, if you end the game with at least 500 points. Points with that, which I didn't. Um, if you never use the ship, which, uh, which I didn't. If you never use patents nor engineer, then you are a true worker. I did that. Um, never done machine action, action. No. Well, there are a lot of titles to choose from. Um, and of course, the idea is to have all the titles once you've played the solo version a few times. I think that's a nice, uh, a nice touch. Oh yeah, I have to convert money and shares. Oh wow, yeah, of course. Um, I still don't have a lot of money. 123, oh my god. Maybe I win this game. Let's see, I need my calculator for that. 123 divided by... Um, Oh, do I do that before I remove the ships or after? Before, I think. So they were 27, so I need to buy them at 27. So that gives me four shares. And then I move this one to 24. So that still doesn't win me the game, but it, yeah, it's closer. 21 multiplied by 24 is 504, which is just a little bit less than orange. But not bad. And that gives me the title Tycoon, more than 500 points. Ye, ye, G E Van Camp. That's yellow, right? Yellow Van Camp. Uh, 
I don't think there's a real strategy. There's not one strategy to win this game. Not at all. There are different different paths to victory, definitely. Sometimes I um, I develop the left side of my factory. Sometimes I develop the right side of my factory. So it's more quality of distribution. Uh, sometimes you can focus on a lot of shipping because shipping gives you a lot of, of money. Um, but if you ship less, you will win uh, the, uh, the race for appeal more often. So, well, there are different paths to strategy. In, in my experience, it's important to, to uh, compete in every factory. When you have one guy uh, uh, having a mon monopoly on one factory, then that person has a big advantage. So, yeah. But yeah, different paths to strategy, definitely. Uh, different paths to, to, uh, to winning. Development cards as well. Yeah. Tycoon, yeah. <laughs> I was surprised actually that I got 500, 500 victory points. It's uh, especially with the clothing factory, I did a really bad job. Losing money in the final decade is really, really bad. Yeah, anyway. It was nice. I really like this solo button. Um, I, I don't even think it needs a lot of changes. I think everything is quite obvious. Um, I forgot little things now and then, but that's just me, I think. Uh, we had that last week as well when he did a three or four player game. But he had tiny things that we sometimes forgot. Um, I think that has to do with the streaming as well, that you focus on both on your laptop and on the game and, and yeah, you have so many things to think about. You're welcome, Jan. Um, anyway, I'm going to end the stream now, if no one has any questions anymore. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, this game uh, comes to Kickstarter on August the 10th. If you are from the United States or Canada. We have promotions on our website right now. We have free shipping on all our games uh, until the end of this weekend. So this was part of the yeah what one of the Gen Con events. Um, we have more events coming up this weekend for Gen Con. Uh, we have several demos. We will demo Tabletopia on. Sorry, our cry to car game on Tabletopia this Sunday uh, with a full games explanation. I didn't do that now because we're going to do that Sunday. I just played it now without with, without a big uh, without a complete exp explanation of the game. Um, so it is on Tabletopia. You can play it yourself. Um, I believe it is already published. It was finished today. I think it's published already. If not, then it will be tomorrow. I don't know that either, if it's a solo version for the board game. I don't know. Anyway, time to... Uh, to end the stream. Again, thank you all for watching, and hopefully we, we will see you at one of our events one of the upcoming days. Bye-bye.